All right, Lions, this is your um, geography country project video helper. So you can go to readylibrary.com and click on the geography country project link here, or you can go straight to macinvia.com and log in there, or you can click on this icon right here and go to Mac and Via that way. But if you come to the library website, readylibrary.com and click here, it's going to take you straight into the Geography Country Mac and Via group. Uh, I'm going to show you some resources that you may want to use for this project. Here's a link to Google Drive. If you want to take notes in Google Drive, here is an APA, um, an APA formatting and style guide helper. And um, this app right here, cite this for me. This is a, a, Chrome, a Google Chrome extension that you may want to add to your Google Chrome. And when you add it, it's going to appear up here and it's going to look just like this because it will help you cite some of the websites that I'm going to show you. So in here we have the CIA World Factbook, which you can open up and then you can select the country that you are researching. And once you select the country you're researching, you'll notice down here there's lots of information and introduction. There's a section on geography. There's a section on people and the society. If you choose to use the CIA World Factbook, you'll want the Cite This For Me extension. So then you can click on it, make sure it says APA, and then it will give you the citation for this website, which you will copy and paste into your references page for this assignment. Um, and then, of course, up here, there's some additional information about uh, this country as well that you can use. Um, another source that you may want to use is the 2016 World Population Data Sheet. And again, if you uh, opt to use this website, you will come right here to the Cite This For Me and do an APA citation for this website right there. So those are a couple of uh, external websites, and you'll know they're an external website because of this little link icon here. The databases, you will not have to use the Cite This For Me extension, so I'm going to show you some of the databases. For instance, you may want to start with an encyclopedia, which is going to give you a little bit of information about a lot of different things. So I'm going to type in my country here, and then I'm going to click on the country, and now it's going to take me into the Mexico article. One of the great things about um, Encyclopedia Britannica is that the citations are right here, so you just click APA, copy and paste this into your references page, and then let's say you want to use this image for your um, assignment. You can come up here to cite, click on the cite, make sure it says APA, and then copy and paste this image citation. Any images that you pull off the internet that you're going to use in your project, you need to provide a citation for in your references page, um, as well as the citations for the information. Okay, so Britannica School World Book is another encyclopedia that you can choose to use. Uh, if you come up here and type in your country, you can click on the article for your country. And the um, citations, you can click up here and click citations, and it's going to give you the APA citation, which you will copy and paste into your references page. You can also find the citations in World Book all the way at the bottom. Okay, so also citations are there. All right. Um, so you may want to start with the IA World Factbook, maybe the World Population website and then perhaps an encyclopedia article, and then if you're still needing information about your country, I recommend Student Resources and Context. This is a great, uh, a great database. So I'm going to type in my country. And this database has the Gale to Google connection, so you can sign in with your Google account. And once you're signed in, then you can actually download anything from this uh, database directly into your Google Drive. So for this assignment, you're probably going to want to stick to reference materials about your topic. And then um, one great thing about Student Resources and Context is it also has images. So for instance, if you wanted to use uh, an image from this database, you would simply just click on the image. And then uh, you would make sure that you get the APA citations. So you come up here to Citation Tools click on APA, and then you can copy and paste the citation into your references page for, um, for that image. Okay. Um, 
some of the other sources that you may want to use. Uh, perhaps you might find something in the news, uh, in the news over here, and then also you can come over here and click on references over here or primary sources or whatever you're looking for. Okay. Um, Another source that you may want to use is ABC Clio World Geography. In this one, you can see all regions and countries if you want to go this way, or you can come up here and type in your country. And then there'll be various types of articles. So there's 190 reference articles, 62 biographies, 10 timelines, facts and figures, glossary and terms. So depending on what you need, you can click on these and then click filter and so here is some of the different uh, timelines that they offer for this country okay and then if you want to clear it you just unclick it and click filter again and then let's say you want to use this article right here you come up here to cite and you're going to choose the APA citation copy and paste it into your references page um, the GVRL, if you're still looking for some of those uh, pieces of information that you're not entirely sure about, you can certainly come up here to the GVRL. Again, this has the Gale to Google Pass, so you can sign in with Google, and then you can type in your country. And let's say you want to use this article right here. You would come up here to Citation Tools, make sure you choose APA, and copy and paste that into your References page. Um, another thing that you can do is in the GVRL, you can also come over here and decide what type of document you're looking for and click on the type of document you're looking for to narrow the search, okay? Alright, so that's the GVRL. Um, Explora is going to be, Explora and Power Search are both going to be just additional databases that you can use if you're still looking for information. Uh, and they work very similar to some of these others as far as citations and stuff. If you, uh, as always, if you need any help along the way with your research, please feel free to come by the library and see me and I will be happy to uh, assist you. And you can also email me at lambertn.friscoisd.org if you need help along the way too. And good luck with your research, Lions.